All right, so you should have taken a formative assessment. If you wanted to see how you got your answers, we can take a look at a few of these. First thing, a scatter plot. Just can we create it? Pretty easy. One list will be your x value, one will be your y value. In this case, they're labeled x and y. And we just take each of these as a point, right? So 1.5 right there. 1.6, 2.5, 3.4 twice. So I just draw the dot twice. Okay. 3.5, 6 and point 0.3, 7 and point 0.2, 7 and point 0.3, 8 and point 0.2, 9.1, 9.1, draw it twice, 9.2, and 10.1. Okay? That's all we got to do if all we're doing is drawing a scatter plot. Okay? Not too shabby, right? Okay, for number 2, same idea. Okay, 5 and 1. So I'm going to kind of estimate on some of these. 8 and 9, 10 and 5, 21 and 5, 28 and 7, uh, 28 and 13, 40 and 12, oh, I didn't get the 13, did I? 44 and 10, 56 and 24, okay, 63, oh, that 56 should be a little bit more over here, huh? That wasn't a very good dot. Okay, 63 and 18, 64 and 20, 68 and 20, 81 and 26, and 89 and 26, okay? So something like that, okay? And again, we could talk about how this is a weak positive, probably a strong negative, but all we had to do was graph it, so that's all we did right there, okay? Now, residuals, remember, they deal with um, telling us if our line of best fit is the most appropriate. So we don't look for patterns. This is kind of opposite. We look for more randomness. So 3 and 5 are the more random, so the line of best fit is good. 4, we see that pattern, so that is not good, okay? And that's all you're really looking for um, when you look at those ones, okay? All right, now 6, 7, and 8, we need to first find the um, correlational coefficient. And so we're going to need to jump over to the calculator to figure those out. So we'll do that first. We'll jump over to the calculator and go from there. Okay, looking at this, we are definitely going to uh, start a new document. Do we want to save? No. Oops. Or we hit cancel. Or we try to save. Cancel again. Let's try this again. There we go. We want to open a list in spreadsheets, okay, which was not the last one. It was actually number four. Okay, we can also show data and statistics if we really want to. Um, we will label our first X our second y, and then we go down and we simply enter in the data, which was on the paper. So we'll take a look, find the correlational coefficient, use that to determine what is going on with these data sets. Okay, so we put all the information in there. tedious part that does take time okay now could I go here and take a look at the um, graph and try to determine is it strong is it weak is it no correlation okay that looks pretty much like no correlation but we want to double check and we do that correlational coefficient so I hit menu statistics stat calculations let's do the two variable statistics this time okay choose my X first choose my Y second hit OK and then I go down and look for that R variable, okay, which is negative 0 0.062, so negative 0 0.06, okay? All right. Now, 
Now I need to go and just enter in the data for the next one, number seven. Okay, put all that in. Again, I just go up and I hit menu, down to statistics, stat calculations, whoops, a little too fast there. And I could also do linear regression, that'll give me the same thing. So if I go over here to the X, drop down to the Y, keep going down, hit OK. Then I don't have to scroll down as far, plus it gives me the linear line of best fit if I wanted it. Okay, but there's my correlational coefficient, so we round that to negative 0.89 instead of negative 0.885. Okay, now the cool thing is if all I have to do is find this data, and I've got using the same x and y, if I put in my new data from question number 8, it actually, if you see, oops, if I leave this up, it's just changing it right now, isn't it? Okay, so I finish putting my data in, and then I don't have to do all that menus and stuff like that, so just kind of a shortcut way of doing some of that. Okay, so I get that, go up to my correlational coefficient, and we round it to 0.95, and there we go. So we put those in, and then let's talk about what that means. If I wanted to, I could look at the graph again, and I could see what that looks like. Um, to help me with that as well, if I really wanted to, okay? So we can see we've got, for our first one, about negative 0.06. So the part B is just telling us is it strong, weak, positive, or negative. Well, it's negative and definitely weak, right? So a weak negative. Now, it's so close to zero um, that I would probably call this no correlation as well or instead of weak negative, but either one I would accept in this case. But when I get really small like that, really close to zero, I'd probably stick with no correlation. Now, negative 0.89, really close to negative one, so that's definitely strong, and a negative. And finally, 0.95, again, really close to positive one, so it's a positive, and it's going to be strong as well. Okay? All right, now these last ones, um, there's no other videos on this because I don't think they're that hard to talk about. Um, basically, um, can we show a correlation or causation, okay? Now, statistically speaking, we can never prove causation. You've got to do experiments, control variables. There's a lot more to it when um, you're dealing with that. So for us, none of these can cause, show causation, okay? So no to the causation. Now, can they show a correlation? They could. Number nine, there is no correlation, so it would be a no to both of them. Number 10, straight line, that'd be like a correlational coefficient of one. That's, yeah, we could show a correlation on that one, but we can never show causation. Um, that's kind of the main thing here, is that it is in, we, we, can, we can say things are really closely connected, like hours on phone and eating tacos, okay? Um, but we can't ever show that causation. Okay, so there's that formative assessment. If you need some more help, there's the other videos you can watch on each one, except for uh, Learning Target 3.1. We're not going to be showing that one. Okay, there we go.